Now, you're supporting Vice President Biden, as I understand it, and Vice President Biden has been ahead in the polls that have been taken down there pretty consistently uh, throughout this presidential cycle. At the same time, there's a new poll that's out, and it's out from the Post and Carrier Change Research, uh, and they show that Joe Biden is still well ahead, but that other people, particularly Elizabeth Warren and Pete Buttigieg, are really cutting into his lead. Why is that? Well, I think uh, that they are the, the new flavor. I think they are, uh, and, and by the way, I think both of them have great messages. I think uh, they're both uh, very personable and, and articulate. And, and this isn't going to be a runaway. This is a fight, and, and I think Joe Biden's ready for that fight. So give us a sense of what the South Carolina Democratic uh, voter in the primary is looking for. If I'm a candidate going down there, what do I have to address to make progress? I think you have to address uh, the issues that, that, that matter to South Carolinians. They matter to every, every voter. Uh, but, but in the Democratic primary, the number one issue, I believe, is going to be a more pragmatic issue, and that is, can you beat Donald Trump? Can you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him and beat him? Because that's all that really matters to Democrats this year, because all the, all the candidates want better health care, a more aggressive environmental policy, uh, uh, you know, uh, equality, uh, gender equality, all those sorts of issues are common. The question is, who can articulate a message in such a way and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Donald Trump? And I believe there's only one candidate that can do that. That's Joe Biden. So when it comes to the, the general election, traditionally people have said it really is the pocketbook that matters, the economy. President Trump is presiding over a pretty strong economy right now. Now, we don't know what's going to happen between now and November 2020, but if we continue the direction we're going right now, isn't any Democrat going to have a hard time? No, because uh, the economy, by the way, that he's presiding over was uh, created by Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Uh, he has not crippled it yet. He's doing everything in his power to try to do that with the tariffs uh, and with uh, a, a tax policy that, I mean, I, I, I grew up with Republicans railing against deficits. This guy, last month, we had the highest monthly federal deficit in the history of the country. So uh, this, is, this, is, this economic train is heading for a derailing if we don't change presidents and change soon. You, you, you mentioned tariffs. Uh, what's the general attitude of South Carolinians to generalize towards tariffs? Because I would think 20, 30 years ago, my sense was South Carolina was sort of for tariffs, so it's sort of for, for protecting several industries. Well, uh, remember now, we have a huge BMW plant, a Volvo plant that's being built, a Mercedes plant, Michelin, uh, uh, all these foreign corporations here that are going to be crippled by tariffs. So, no, the general attitude in South Carolina is against tariffs, um, and rightly so.